want to say this because this really been on my mind lately. I have nothing against the plain Jane females. You know, and what I mean by that, like the females who doesn't go out, the female who doesn't like get their makeup done, the female who doesn't really get their hair done often. The plain Jane females, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't have nothing against y'all, but why is it so hard for us pretty girls to come across? decent guy it just seemed like all the guys the good guys always like cuff the plain jane females and i feel like ladies let me tell y'all something if i had a rotten banana right in front of me i don't care how expensive the lash extensions are that i put on it i don't care how nice the lace front is i don't put on top of it i don't laid the baby hairs down and everything honey I don't care how nice and beautiful the makeup look. I don't care how cinched the banana waist is. Hell, I don't even care how big the BBL is on the banana. It's still going to be a rotten banana. And I'm not talking about a banana. Let marinate for a little bit. Ho guys, hold on. Can, can we just, just bear, hold on. I just want to say this because this really been on my mind lately. I have nothing against the plain Jane females, you know, and what I mean by that, like the females who doesn't go out, the female who doesn't like get their makeup done, the female who doesn't really get their hair done often, the plain Jane females, you know what I'm saying, like, y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't have nothing against y'all, but why is it so hard for us pretty girls to come across a decent guy? It just... Okay. I, let me just be honest, okay? Because she said she said that they don't even come across the decent guy, right? Why is it that, you know, the pretty girls don't come across the decent guys? Why do the guys, like all these plain Jane, basic females with natural hair, with not a whole bunch of makeup on, that stay in the house, that stay low-key, that cook, that clean, that... Why do the guys, like all these girls... Instead of coming online and asking men why they like these quote-unquote plain Jane females, why don't you just take a roll call of all the things that you just said that these men like and then line that up with yourself? Because you're giving yourself the answers. <laughs> you literally just gave yourself the answers. The answer is that men like women who are natural. Okay, it does not mean that you can't wear the wigs. Okay, it doesn't mean that you can't get a sew in. It don't mean none of that. It just, whenever all of those things come up off of you, they want to know that they can still be attracted to the natural essence of who you are. When they wake up and when you wake up, they don't got to wait for you to get everything together, put something on, you know, snatch it, attach it, latch it. They don't want to see that. They just want to see in your purest form, are they going to be attracted to you? Because all the time, you're not going to have on the wigs. All the time, you're not going to have a full, uh, you know, caked up face of makeup on, war paint. All the time, you're not going to have the war paint on. It's just not realistic. So when a man sees a woman... He wants to be able to sift through, and if you wear more natural makeup, or if you wear, like, a little bit of makeup, lighter makeup, if you wear your natural hair, it is just easy for a man to see, point blank period, exactly who you are, exactly what they're getting into. What their kids gonna look like. <laughs> like, without all the blindfolds, the haze, the, the smoke and mirrors, a lot of women are presenting smoke and mirrors and then are looking at the women who are not doing that and trying to act like the women who don't want to wear the weave, who don't want to wear the wigs, who don't have on like, you know, pounds and pounds of makeup, like those women are beneath them. And I'm, I'm clearly, there's no shade to this woman. I don't know her. Okay. But I clearly see that when these women put on the nails, the long nails, the lashes, and the wigs, 
they literally transform, okay, into somebody else. And there's nothing wrong with having self-confidence and feeling good about yourself when you take care of yourself. That's not what I'm talking about. A lot of these women get these stuff on and all of a sudden, you can't talk to them. Who are you? I'm better than you. I'm higher than you. Oh, if a woman doesn't get her hair done or if a woman doesn't have on a wig, she's broke. Oh, brokey. Like, they just transform into, I don't know if it's city girl. I don't know who it is. But they all have the same kind of mentality. But I love what the woman in the video said. All the guys, the good guys always, like, cuff the plain Jane females. And I feel like... Ladies, let me tell y'all something. If I had a rotten banana right in front of me, I don't care how expensive the lash extensions are that I put on it. I don't care how nice the lace front is I done put on top of it. I done laid the baby hairs down and everything, honey. I don't care how nice and beautiful the makeup look. I don't care how cinched the banana waist is. Hell, I don't even care how big the BBL is on the banana. It's still going to be a rotten banana. And the thing is, right, I love what she said here, but also there's two sides to this. Because you can be, women can be natural, right, on the outer. They can be natural. They don't wear wigs. They don't wear weave. They don't wear their nails. They don't wear their lashes. And they can be full of crap. Okay, they could be the biggest manipulators, they could be nasty, they could be the most disrespectful. And you can have a woman who wears wigs, who wears the, you know, extensions, who wears all the, the nails, all that kind of stuff, and she will treat her man like a king. So let's not get it twisted. But I think a lot of women fall for the facade of it. It doesn't matter if you wear it to look good. It doesn't matter if you wear it when you're going out. It doesn't matter if you're wearing it for show, but... Men are attracted to your natural state again because they want to see you in your purest form. They want to be attracted to you when you don't have to wake up and put on all that makeup in your face, be beat all day long. They still want to be attracted to you. They don't want to wait for you to get dressed to then look at you and be like, ooh, you fine. No. Am I saying, ooh, you fine without it? There's nothing wrong with getting done up, but, are, but how are you without it? And a lot of women are, they're more focused on the outer appearance and being sexy in their mind because some of them don't even know what men want. So they think that just doing these things automatically makes them sexy, which is not even true. But they're not focused on uh, what it takes, what men actually care about, what men are actually noticing. Men have shouted from the rooftops, we don't like this. We don't like this stuff. We don't like it. And then they put it on and be like, how come they're not attracted to me? They just, they tell you all the time. <laughs> like, how much more do they have to say? They say it all the time and you still don't listen. And it's not even about a war between the naturals and the weeds and this and that. It's not about that. It's not about that. It's about your taking care of you, taking care of self. As a I did a video um, on TikTok and I was saying, you know, as a hairstylist, me, as a stylist, I can tell the women who um, are living in reality and the women who are delusional based off of how they take care of their natural hair. You see, the women who their, their hair is, their natural hair is like on its last leg, but the wig is laid, pressed, in pristine condition. Their weave is shiny and healthy, and their hair is like... <gasps> When you take the weave out, that, sh that shows you who is stuck in reality and who is delusional. Because you would rather take all this care, you'd rather deep condition the wig. Make sure that the wig, which is not coming from you, which is not a part of you, you'd rather wake, make sure that that is in pristine condition. But when it comes to your hair, you could care less. You ain't washed it in three, four, five months. I'm just being real. And that says a lot about you. There's some women who get wigs. Don't get it twisted. There's some women who wear the wigs and all this kind of stuff. And when they, they come, they make sure that their hair is treated. Their hair is long, healthy, beautiful, strong. Because they care about themselves. There's a difference. Some women think that the wig... 
is all they need. Who cares about the real hair? Some women are like, okay, I'm wearing this for style and for fashion, but my real hair is extremely important. There's a difference. You have to know that. A man doesn't want a woman that, I, listen, I did a video before and I put the, um, uh, I forgot the name of the movie again. But I did, a, I did a reaction and I was talking about that. You know, a man don't want you to be like, you know, popping off the nails, popping off the wig, popping off the eyelashes. Uh, with that movie, uh, it was, um, oh gosh, guys, give me, I gotta find, I gotta find the name of the movie. I gotta find the name of it. I can't do two reactions and I never said the name of the movie. But I put it on my YouTube community page. And this, uh, in the movie, y'all are already gonna know what I'm talking about. But in the movie, he met a girl at the club. And when he got home, she was t taking the nails off, the wig off, the lashes off, the butt off, the leg off. The, every She took everything off. What's the name of the movie? I'm going to get you sucker. I'm going to get you sucker. That's the name of the movie. And men don't want that. A man doesn't want to take you home or whatever, take you on a couple of dates. And then when it's really time to get down to business, you come out the shower and he's like, ah! <laughs> Who is this? We're being robbed. Call the police. <laughs> like, he doesn't want that. He wants to love you for you. And I think, again, I think women should applaud that. Women should honor that. And and for the women who don't understand that, then you need to get to understand that. Oh, He wants to be able to love you for you, attra be attracted to you for you. And that should be like amazing that a man wants to love you without all that stuff without ha you having to put in all that work all the extra work is is you know like the whipped cream on top but you him loving you in your natural essence that's the best thing that's the best thing but let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below i'd love to hear you guys opinions on this video make sure you guys hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in the next one love you